Hello everyone, this is Swartoist Newbie here, back with another Star Zero Republic video. Today I have for you guys, once again, another Star Zero Republic Carnage Murata PvP episode. In today's episode, I'm just going to go over just what I'm going to be doing with this series in general, slash what I'm going to be doing with a new character I made called Bronteus. So I hope you guys enjoy this Star Zero Republic Carnage Murata PvP episode, as always. If you do, then make sure to leave a like. And if you guys want some nice gaming glasses, then check the link in the down below. No scope gaming glasses, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoy this video. And I'll see you guys in the match. Alright guys, so we are in a match right now. The game has just started. And in this video, I just decided I would actually talk about a good topic that I really thought about. And it's going to be the future of this character. Now you see, one thing that I really want to talk about is, as you know, I recently made a uh, actual Jedi Sage named Bronteus. And I recently have been leveling up that tune a lot, and honestly, I really do like the tune a lot. I've actually been leveling it up a ton, like I said. It's already level 56 just by some power leveling, so you know, that's a plus right there. But, yeah, I mean... That's something that's kind of good, but at the same time, you know, it's bad because, like I said, I might favorite one actual tune instead of the other. And, you know, some problems might arise because you never know. But, yeah, obviously, that is something right there. And, yeah, I mean, this is just what I'm going to be talking about. So, as you know, I have been doing Carnage Murata for quite a while. But, you know, I've only been actually recording the tune himself. I haven't been playing too much on him outside of actually recording, so... You know, I don't want to end off this series, but I think it would be really good to actually start a series on Bronteus just to see how I can actually work with the Jedi Sage being a healer and all. Since, you know, I honestly don't heal too much. The last time I actually healed was with the actual, if I remember correctly, it was the operative, the healing operative at a lower level. And, you know, that was overall a really fun series because I did actually like healing and etc. So, alright, looks like they actually got a pylon right here, so... Yeah, alright. But, yeah, let's actually go ahead and get back to our pylon ASAP. Otherwise, we are going to lose it all. Alright, so let's just go ahead and try to get some hits on him right there. Looks like he's stunned right now. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and use this just to try to increase my speed. Because we do need to capture this quickly. Otherwise, it's going to turn out really bad for us. So, yeah, there we go. Just get one hit. Alright, looks like they're actually capping it. So... Are they still managing to stop it? Yes, they are. Wow. They might actually get this. Looks like they did use some tactics right here to stop us. So, yeah, they are overall just completely rushing us. So, they might have already gotten this pylon at the start. But, yeah, guys, I mean, that's just what I am saying at the moment. I don't know about the series since I haven't been really, I say, gearing him or focusing too much on him. You know, he'll just be one of the, I say, one of those actual players that I keep. Just because he's on the imp side, since I mostly play on the Republic side, on Jugma. So, you know what? That's just what I want to say. I'm not going to end off the series right here, if you're wondering, in this episode. But, you know, I'm just going to go ahead, leave it off, maybe try Brontes for some PvP. See how healing as a Sage goes, since, like I said, he is actually currently at level 56, almost level 57. So, I mean, it's getting somewhat close to level 60, and it would be really cool just to try an actual series. Since, you know, just playing on the Republic side is really fun just because I do have most of my guild mates and everyone else there. But yeah, there's a plus right there. So let's see, what can we do? Looks like we actually managed to get this pylon right here. And yeah, like I said, as you can tell, my current gear on this tune is very bad. Only a four set piece bonus. No augments, no nothing. And recently, I've been just gearing up Brontes. And with the 12 XP... I think that this would be really good not only for, guess say, starting a new PvP series or maybe ending one, but it would also be really good to create new and creative videos. Now, what I mean by that is, since there's 12 XP or the epic XP story boost, we can now actually level up tunes very quickly. I actually just managed to, like I said, Brontaeist was, I think, if I remember correctly, just a few days ago was just level 12 in literally just by power leveling just for a few hours. Got him up to level 42, and then, once again, he is now up to level 56, almost 57. So, you know, as you can tell, it is just really good going for us, more or less. And, yeah. Wow, that person, as you can tell, they do have the Dreadmaster helmet right there. You know, that's something I actually also want to get for Bronte is, is to do the Entity. And, yeah, so as you can tell, this play right here from Umbra does have it. 
So I guess say that's pretty cool, not gonna lie. And I've never actually seen the legendary. Okay, it looks like they have it in the outfit designer. But you know, if you don't actually know about legendary gear, more or less it's the Crest of the Dreadmaster and it's also uh, the Baron Deathmark mask. So basically it has no durability, so you can honestly use as much as you want. You don't have to repair for it. So you know, that's a plus about it, but... Yeah, so, that's all I want to do. I mean, more or less, if you, this is just going to be mostly an episode just about Brontes and what I'm doing with that tune. But, actually, what I plan on doing is just having Brontes be a player that tries to be, I guess say, more or less, kind of part of the Dreadmasters, even though it is a male tune. And what I plan on doing is actually getting the wings of the Architect, maybe trying to go for... DP Nightmare Mode, that might be very difficult, obviously, because you have to beat it in one hour. But, you know, what I'm going to mainly focus on for the start is just to get the wings of the Architect. Then, obviously, go for the Mask, since the Mask for the Dreadmasters, or the Crest of the Dreadmasters, isn't too bad to get. I already have the Amulet on my Commando, which wasn't hard to get at all, just by doing it 10-stack Dreadtooth. So, yeah, there's that. Okay, so let's just go ahead and see... Yeah, we were just getting totally destroyed right here. But this was going to be actually an episode of just me discussing things. I mean, I just wanted to talk about what I've been doing, what I planned for that actual character, and overall just the fun of it. So let's just go ahead and see what we can do in this match. I'm pretty sure if they just get one more pylon, it's all over. So, you know, that is a... Uh, that's not really good, but after all, it seems like they are totally destroying us. And, you know, sometimes that is good in matches, uh, so... Yeah, 605. Yeah, they are almost 100% going to win. And I don't want to actually camp at my pylon because, you know, that seems kind of boring and cheap. So, just try to do some damage. It's not going to be great damage, like I said, because I don't gear up this tune too much anymore. Like I said, I've been focusing on my commando and also my Brontes account slash tune. So, as you can tell, like I said, the match is ending right now. So, you know, that's a bit of a disappointment. Just wanted to make this video out. Just to do some PvP and talk about the series overall because I don't want to leave you guys in the dust and just have you guys wondering where I am and you know why I'm not doing as much as Carnage Marauder PvP since I don't want to continue to make episodes if I don't focus too much on a tune because if I do that then obviously you guys are starting are actually going to start to notice and it will be really boring. Like I said, I'm pretty sure that players don't want to watch you just constantly play when you don't even have, I guess say, the... Right stuff, more or less. And, yeah, so that's just my view on it. We have one minute left. Looks like people are already camping. You know, we're just trying to go in here right now, all of us. Well, I guess three of us, more or less, trying to do some stuff. But, yeah, all right, let's actually try to choke this person. Yeah, there we go. All right, so just go ahead and get some hits on them. Looks like they're running for their life, so that's a disappointment. But, you know, I can just go ahead and actually pick this up, because why not? All right, there we go. Just pick it up. Alright, so now here they are coordinating confusion. They just have a complete confusion with coordination. Actually, this guild is very good at PvP. Just thought I'd mention that. But you know what? Just don't let the name deceive you. That's most guilds in basically any Star Wars Yoda public servers. Is that you shouldn't honestly let a name deceive you. Think, oh man, they are bad because their name is coordinating confusion. No, that guild is amazing. And yeah, I mean, overall, a lot of these uh, guilds on the server are really good. It just say more or less since it is a really small community it just takes a while to actually find the players to just say uh, be in a guild with and overall just chat with so as you can tell this is the end of the match right here so let's just go ahead and see our end stats right now this is going to be pretty bad not going to lie but you know what whatever all right go ahead and force choke them get a hit on them all right so there we go only 202k damage now i did the worst on the team six deaths two actually four deaths Six kills, and yeah. So let's just go ahead and see what we can do right here. Overall, what did we do? Seems we didn't do too much healing, obviously. I was the lowest on the scoreboard. I just did absolutely terrible. But you know what? Like I said, I do need a gear and actually learn to play on a Marauder. You say a bit more since I don't focus on this tune too much. But yeah, guys, that's going to be the end of this Star Zero Public Cartridge Marauder PvP episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the Carnage Marauder PvP. As always, if you did, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.